Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to share with you the logic behind uh, gut disease. The logic you need to understand, this is very simple logic, you need to understand in order to get your gut disease, whether it's Crohn's, IBS, colitis, I'm going to show you the way you need to think. This is logic 101. Uh, this doesn't come naturally to a lot of people. I was a, a computer programmer and I went to college and I had a, a logic 101 class and I was actually quite, I thought I was gonna enjoy it, but I was quite shocked at how much of basic logic I did not understand at the time. Um, and it's totally absent in, in modern culture nowadays, especially when it comes to gut diseases and uh, a lot of these lab studies and the way that holistic medicine and modern medicine, the way they troubleshoot and try to understand which variables are important uh, to gut disease, you know, like what variables in our life do we need to change in order to get our gut disease under control. The, the way we go about trying to find those variables is completely insane. And I'm gonna demonstrate that to you today with this little um, chart that I made. So, all right, here we go. Bear with me, guys. So let's pretend these are people. The colors don't mean anything, they're just people. Uh, these are people are gonna be on normal diets. They're on normal diets, they have good health and they have bad health. People on healthy diets and they have good health or good gut health and then they have bad gut health. So, most of us start off in this section. We, we are in good health and we eat a normal diet. Most, you know, most of us eat like that. So we all start off here. So, then one day we come down with a gut disease. We get diagnosed with Crohn's or something like that. So now we're on a normal diet. Um, we're on a normal diet, yet uh, yet we have, uh, and we have gut disease. So this, this alone, basic logic alone, tells us that diet does not cause gut disease. Because if it did, if diet caused gut disease, then these people, everybody, everybody in modern culture would have gut disease and that is not true it is false i know it it, it is like a lot like a it seems like it would be a logical um thought process but it's not in order for this to be true it would have to look like this everyone in modern culture would have to have gut disease if they were on a normal standard american diet and it is false so, like, people in the holistic community, they get blindsided by this and they think everyone has gut, he gut health issues because they're on normal diets. And now to, to run this point even, you know, to even uh, better, so, uh, so, these, so these people, they start to blame their bad diet for their gut health issues. And so what do they do? They, they switch to a healthy diet. They switch to a healthy diet and they still have bad gut health. And you know, and and what people do to to convince themselves that they're better, they say they say to themselves, "Oh, I'll I'll be in good health as long as I don't eat normal food." They're changing the definition of healthy, of 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 what good gu good gut health is. Somebody with a good gut can eat normal foods. Yet these people can't. The second they eat normal foods, they have diarrhea all week. That isn't healing. That is changing the definition, the, 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 cha the, the correct definition, the true definition of having a healthy gut is being able to eat whatever you want. That's my definition. And there's people, the whole time we're doing this, there's people eating whatever they want to the day that they die and they never develop gut disease. You know, there, hell, there's people who are on a healthy, I know people who are on a healthy diet, something happens, and then they and then they get bad gut health. It, ha, it has guys. It has absolutely nothing to do with the diet. Even if these people were eating nothing but glass, even if these people were eating nothing but glass and shredding up their insides, this does not produce gut disease. Gut injury and gut disease are two completely different things. So we're, I'm not going to get into injury today. So. Instead of, I, guys, I don't care what, caught, what 
50% of people with gut disease have. I, I don't care. I want to know what 100% of people with gut disease have. So what do all these people have in common? What do all these people have in common? What do all these people who have? So wh what do people who have no gut disease have in common? And what do people who do have gut disease have in common? It is, if you look at their CT brain scans, they're going to have a Hammer focus in the brain stem where the intestines, uh, where the intestines are controlled. I've looked at my brain scan, I see it there. I've looked at uh, some of my other clients, they have it there, and uh, my wife as well. They have, um, you can see trauma in the brain, in the brain stem, because that's where the special program is controlled. When we are conflict active, we can't digest this thing. It, it helps uh, you digest this hard to digest thing by making extra gut cells. And then we no longer need to di digest this hard to digest thing in our life. We get rid of these extra gut cells. And that's when you get the blood, the mucus, the pus. Some of you with colitis, you'll have polyps. Those are the extra gut cells that your body tried to get rid of. So guys, th this is, that's logic. You want to know what is the case 100% of the time. So people who don't have gut disease, they're not going to have that Hammer focus in, in their brainstem. People who do have gut disease have the Hammer focus on the brainstems. So truth is stranger than fiction when you actually follow the facts, when you actually use logic. This is not logic. This is not logic. You know, someone blaming that. I know all of you have done this. I, I did it too. But you know, you're on your normal diet, yet there's people who, st who are still eating a normal diet and have perfectly fine gut health. You switch, to a good, you switch to a good diet and you still have gut issues. You still can't eat normal foods without crapping your, crapping your brains out. And yet the whole time you have people eating nothing but fast food every day and they're completely fine. Food, it, your perception of food, you viewing food as dangerous can, can make gut your gut issues worse but it is it is not the diet itself it is not the foods itself that is I, I want you guys to start thinking like that I want you start to think with real logic I, I understand that it makes that it that it seems to make sense that hey eating healthier is going to fix my gut disease but it won't it, it is better to eat healthier you know, you're getting more nutrients, that's great, but it does not, you can throw as much nutrients into your body as possible. I've seen people inject nutrients into their veins and not get better simply because when the special program is on in your brain, it's going to create, it's going to make this mess in your gut. No matter what, no matter, no matter how many nutrients, um, you know, you can have the best car in the world, but if you have a bad driver, you know, they're going to lose the race. And the same thing here. Uh, you could have the best nutrients in the world coming into you, but if, if, if the program is still on because you're viewing something as hard to digest uh, still, uh, you're, just, you're just not going to get better. It, it's that simple. It's our psyche that controls the special program. We have to resolve this, um, this emotion, unresolved stress that you know keeps rearing its ugly head in our life um, because you're you're already in the healing phase you're just stuck in it so we got to fully resolve this reoccurring hard to digest thing in your life so guys i hope that helped you uh i'll see you later bye bye